Good morning, folks. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to get back in here today, and we're going to talk about uh, uh, can can family members be narcissists? Yes, they can, folks. And uh, it's a sad situation because, you know, um, family members are supposed to be kind of close to us, you know, because it's uh, children that we, we were children when we grew up together and things like that. But um, family members can be dangerous too, folks, if they're narcissists because Narcissists are master schemers, and they're always looking for a way to jerk somebody's life down. And, um, you know, we can't set them apart from other narcissists, folks, because remember, narcissism is a, a personality disorder, and it can cause your family members to become dangerous, just like the narcissist that you were with when you were married to them or if you lived with them or you just dated them uh yeah uh it they can be male or female narcissist which is what i suspect my sister could be because like i told you you know she had the characteristics of it because sometimes she would go off the deep end for no apparent reason and I think what could have caused her to be that way, folks, is because she had a um, she had some kind of a personality complex about she had it built in her mind that mom and dad didn't love her, you know, that they ignored her when she was a child. But we didn't have no narcissism in our family, folks, as far as our parents was concerned. Our parents was uh, normal, healthy people, folks. Our parents was together for about 30 years. And they got along good. And if my dad wound up getting into it with my mom, he would always uh, get in the truck and take off, you know, and stay gone till he cooled off because he didn't believe in hitting the woman, folks. My dad had the utmost respect for uh, women, and there's no way that he would have done that. Uh, but my sister, I don't know if it's something that can run in the family or, you know, what can cause it. Maybe they can be born with it, too, you know. Because, like I said, psychopaths are born that way, folks. But uh, my sister, she just... Uh, has always gotten mad at me over nothing, pretty much. And, you know, she um, would try to get dangerous, too. So, yeah, family members can be narcissists, too, folks. And it's sad because you don't know what they're going to do, you know. But uh, I want to tell you all, too, um, Narcissist also check your profile on the internet because my son said that uh, his dad has been checking my profile and stuff. My son's been kind of sending me messages on things that he's been doing and letting me know that uh, he is checking my profile, him and his sister and all the other narcissists there. And uh, I, I don't know if he's still with his new supply or not. Don't really care. But my son said that uh, because they, he said even though they hate me real bad, they're still following my profile, you know. But uh, what it is is his daddy, my son's daddy knows that, um, he has lied to the children since they was little and he's wanting to cover up the lies from where he's following me around folks and he's still telling my son that i'm the bad person you know 
And I'm not the bad person, folks. This is what narcissists do. They scheme and try to spread rumors and make a good person uh, look bad. And also, your family members can do this to you, too, folks. You know, if they're narcissists, they're going to be schemers, too, and do things to hurt you, you know. But, I, you know, I wanted to get in here and let you guys know this, you know, because uh, narcissism is just a personality disorder that probably needs to be addressed, you know, through counseling and, you know, uh, finding out what caused them to be narcissists and stuff, folks. Uh, and sometimes they have to be diagnosed with the, uh, whatever type they are or whatever, you know, so they can treat the the problem. But like I said, folks, even if they get counseling, most likely the counseling's not going to help them because the narcissist is only going to tell the therapist what, she, uh, what he wants her to hear. He's not going to share all, he or she is not going to share all the details of uh, what could have caused their narcissism and stuff because that's just the way they are, folks. Uh, but it's a shame that a person has to be stuck with a personality disorder like that because their life is never full, you know. It's just a, a miserable way for them to have to live because... They go through life never being able to have a, a full-time relation, healthy relationship. They're always going to uh, move from one supply to the next. And that's just the way it is, folks. Uh, and, and it's just the personality disorder that caused them to be that way. But yeah, they can even scheme on family members, folks, and cause trouble on them and spread rumors. Uh, just like I suspect that my sister's probably done on me for years uh, and tried to make me look like a bad person, and I'm not a bad person. I try to live life and, and be happy and... Uh, you know, me and my husband try to make a good life together and stuff and be happy. But uh, that's just the way they are, folks. We just have to pray for them and uh, wish them well and things like that, you know, but kind of try to watch them and stuff. Because even though you got a narcissistic family member, folks, they're still going to hurt you in some way, shape, or form. Whether it be mentally, physically, or just whatever the narcissist does, you know, even though it's your family member, uh, they can still uh, scheme on you and things like that, folks. So it's up to us to try to... Um, Try to cut ties with them the best you can, folks. There's nothing wrong with checking in on them and seeing if they're doing okay or whatever from time to time. But if you hang around the narcissist, you know what could happen, folks. Uh, the family members are going to be out there spreading bad rumors on you just like the other narcissists do. They're pretty much all in the same boat together. And they're going to be dangerous and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, that's what they do. They scheme. I've been uh, divorced from my ex-husband now for goodness. It's been a long time, folks. And he still uh, checks my profile and keeps track of whatever I do. And uh, the only reason he does that, folks, is he's scheming things on me and and trying to keep the kids from coming around or or uh, trying to make me look bad to the kids or just whatever he can do to jerk me down, folks. But I just keep on going and I ignore him. 
I don't talk to him or anything. If I see that, if I suspect that he's on Facebook and he sends a message or anything, I just act like he's not even there, folks, you know. And I don't say anything to him or anything. I don't even, I don't never reach out to him. Even though I've had uh, kids by him and stuff like that, I don't reach out to him. And see, this is what you have to do too, folks. You just have to kind of take them with a grain of salt and go on with it and try to heal yourself from narcissism because... If you did grow up around the narcissist folks, uh, you might not have paid attention to it at the time, but it can leave you with uh, some things that bother you mentally, you know, and you just keep on moving on with your life and try to heal yourself. Well, I wanted to get in here and share this with you folks, and thank you for joining my YouTube channel. And you guys have a blessed day, okay? Take care. Don't let them narcissists get hold of you. Bye.